We have a spotless sun with only a remnant coronal hole that's bringing us a little bit of activity. But there's a new region rotating into view. Is it a game changer? Those stories are more in the news this week. Space weather this week has been reasonably quiet. We've been dealing with some pockets of fast wind from a remnant coronal hole that's brought us a little bit of activity here and there, but it's been pretty sporadic. But for now, that region has been moving through and things are quieting down and quieting down. Now, the real story this week is the new active region that's rotating into Earth view off the sun's east limb. It's been building on the backside and growing quite rapidly, even firing off a few low-level flares. So this is good news for you amateur radio operators and emergency responders because it's going to boost the solar flux here in the next couple days and possibly move the radio propagation conditions from poor back to marginal. So this is this very good news. And as it rotates in, it's going to be followed by a coronal hole that will bring us some decent activity here, maybe another solar storm, possibly within the next 10 days. Switching to our M-flare threat meter, you can see we are very low when it comes to X-ray flux and therefore the solar flux by proxy is also extremely low. We're well below the B floor here, but you can see a little bit of ramping up recently in the last day or so. That is from that new region that's rotating into Earth view. You can even see a few small peaks from flaring. So this region is the one that we're excited about that's going to boost solar flux and bump the uh, radio propagation back up into marginal conditions for you amateur radio operators and emergency responders. And the nice thing is that you should have an improved solar flux and improved radio propagation possibly over the next two weeks. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see that remnant of a coronal hole that gave us some pockets of fast wind. It bumped us up to active conditions in four separate times during this past week, but just as we predicted, it really wasn't sustained. Nonetheless, it brought us some gorgeous aurora at high latitudes and even a peak of aurora a little bit further south if you were on your toes and knew where to look. Meanwhile, things are beginning to settle down now and settle down and uh, it will continue to be this quiet easily for the next week. And although the solar storming has not been all that strong, we still had gorgeous aurora views over the last couple weeks in many places in the world, like this from Finland, and in Norway, in Sweden, and in Denmark. We've seen it in many places in Scotland, and in Ireland, and in Norfolk, and even down to Germany. Now as we move over the Atlantic, there have been gorgeous views in Iceland, and as we continue west, we've seen it in Yellowknife, Canada, and in New Brunswick, and in Manitoba, and British Columbia. It's even dipped down into the United States just a little bit. We saw some in Maine, and in Michigan, and even a little tiny aurora glow in Washington State. And then down south, we've seen some gorgeous aurora in the flight to the lights, airline flight over New Zealand. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you immediately see is the forming of that region we were talking about on the sun's backside. It's forming just west of that dark, long, finger-like coronal hole. Now, this region, as you can see, has also been firing off some solar flares, and that's good news because it means it's growing rapidly, and it's going to bring with it some decent solar flux. So that should bump up the uh, radio propagation back to marginal conditions for you amateur radio operators and emergency responders. And if it continues to grow like this and continues to be active, then you could enjoy decent uh, radio propagation here over the next couple weeks. The nice thing, too, is that it's all also being followed by that long finger-like coronal hole that brought us some decent storming of a few weeks ago. So in about another 10 days to two weeks, we might see some more solar storming.
Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are kind of coming down the last bit of that remnant coronal hole. That is now rotating through the Earth's strike zone, so we're expecting maybe a little bit more activity, but not too much. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting active conditions with maybe a 30 to 40 percent chance of a moderate level storm, but it's not going to last all that long. At mid latitudes, we're expecting only unsettled conditions, maybe up to active conditions for a short bit, but only about a 15 percent chance of a minor storm probably won't get there. Like I said, things are beginning to calm down. And as uh, the week uh, unfolds, things will continue to get quieter and quieter. And then we'll uh, have some quiet times until about the next two weeks when that new coronal hole rotates into the Earth strike zone. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we've been dealing with a spotless sun, but we do have that new region that is rotating into Earth view. And as it rotates further, we'll get a better look at it to see if it happens to be an M flare player. But right now, the risk for big flares is in the green. We have no risk for radio blackouts, so that's some good news. The other bit of good news is that we do have a boost in the solar flux that is expected later this week, which could bump us back up into the marginal radio radio propagation conditions for you amateur radio operators and emergency responders. And as long as this region doesn't plan to act like a submarine and dive back underneath the sun's surface, you guys could enjoy some decent propagation over the next two weeks. So the space weather this week is calming down when it comes to solar storms, but it's actually picking up when it comes to radio propagation. That new region that's rotating into Earth view, that's good news for you amateur radio operators and emergency responders because it should bump up that solar flux and radio propagation back into the marginal conditions. And as long as that region stays active, you could enjoy uh, some decent radio propagation over the next couple weeks. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.